Hi, my name is Terry Lee and I'm from Sweet Pea Papers and it's September 2021 so that means we must be doing our September daily. Yes, I'm doing 30 videos in a row. However, they're not going to be posted on the exact same days as the person that I'm following which is Miss Paintalot and the links to her YouTube channel will be below. Now, um, the whole idea is every day at the end of making a page, she rolls a die and then whatever the number is, one, two, three, four, five, six, forgot to type those in, sorry about that. Um, that's the designer that she uses a kit from them. Then um, this tells you what day they were selected. They can't be selected more than five times and they can't be selected twice in a row, okay? So that's it. So we're on day six and day six the prompt is lace, which we all know I do wonderfully. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Uh, her book is Mr. Green. My book happens to be black so my book is Mr. Black. Okay so we have our cover sheet. We have page one, two, three, Four, and I need to make a writing card for that. I forgot. Oops. Page five, and now we're on page six. Okay, so let's flip these around if we can. And this will be the page that we're working on. Now we're going to work on our paper and then um, glue the paper to the page. Okay. So we're going to need a writing card and I made it ahead of time because gluing two pieces of paper together uh, is probably something you can do. Now to do that I used a corner rounder which looks like this and I could put a link to this uh, below. So I'm not going to need this anymore so I'm going to move it out of the way. Alright, some of the other things that you're going to need now that I forgot to tell you that part first is you're going to need some lace, possibly some other items that go and I'll tell you right ahead of time I haven't exactly decided what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not very good with lace and um, or maybe I've just told myself that and so um, I've got a few choices. The lace that I do have came from Lisa's Paper Lace and Bling and um, her link will be below. Okay. Um, she's been nice enough, even though I'm mentioning this and it kind of sounds like a, like a plug. It actually is. She's got a great shop. Um, she will give you a 15% discount on $15 or more if you use the coupon code 15TERRY, T-E-R-I. Now, I'm going to put that information uh, below this video as well. So you have lots of good stuff to read. There's lots of links to all the materials that I use. Okay. So the other things you're going to need, you're going to need magnets, yay! You're going to need ink. I tried really hard to find a pink that matched, but I couldn't. So we're going to use, um, we're going to use um, 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 vintage photo, which I just now realized I forgot to ink this paper. So I'm going to ink the pink. It's the best I can do since I forgot. So while we're talking. I'm going to do that if I can. Okay. Um, you're also going to need, oops, glossy accents, I think, if we're still using the picture with the B. No, we're not. So we're actually not going to need this. Sorry about that. We might find a place for it. You never know. So we got the magnets. I'm going to try to make a tab. I mean, I know how to make a tab, but I'm going to try to find a way to make a tab um, for the writing card. Um, I've got this one that says 2021, so that would be great. I also have what's called a whale tail that I can't believe I cut out so well. It's got two sides. And then we have a charm. These are some leaves. And then we've got a jump ring and an eyelet and I didn't put them down here because I didn't want to lose them. Okay and the equipment to put them in which we also need our 
handy dandy crocodile to punch the hole and to also set the eyelet. Okay, so we'll set that out of the way for now. Don't need that. And you're also going to need a paper trimmer and of course your ruler and some luck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I also have this big la bag of lace that I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use, but um, I have it out just in case. I got these on Amazon, believe it or not. That whole big bag came together. Um, I'm going to set this to the side because I'm not sure that I'm going to use them and I don't want them rolling around everywhere. All right, so let's do this real quick. We're going to have to cut and ink um, as we go anyway can't believe I forgot to ink that. That's not making me happy. I really don't want to ink the pink. Um, well, I'm going to because the back side of the writing card is just going to be the pink. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this. It's going to look a little different than all the others, but that's okay. Life has different things in it. Okay, so I'm going to go around this real quick doesn't take very long and it is the most exciting thing in your day right <laughs> well maybe not we do like the sound of it though that's what I've heard some people find it relaxing okay so there's our card all ready to go so we're gonna set that to the side now what we're gonna make is a piece of paper or our paper for our uh, page and then on, a, on it we're going to have a, a side tuck and then the side tuck is going to have a flip on it the flip is going to have a magnet and the magnet is going to keep this closed so the writing card does not come out okay so better keep this where I can see it or I'm gonna forget because you guys never remind me of anything and I really have no idea why um, also uh, please leave the comments below um, I really like hearing from you about um, what you like and you don't like um, this wait a minute this under here is the back page so let's take these two out real quick and we're going to have to ink this which is going to make it look different than the rest or the writing card so we have to ink this and I like this background kind of reminds me of a fleur de lis so happy to myself to say that I don't know why so we're gonna ink this and then we're gonna glue it together well actually we're gonna build on this page unless I measured everything to the cream I did so we're going to go ahead and glue these together which this is okay because this is what we're the cream is what we're gluing to the page we are not going to ink that okay so don't ink that that goes right on the page and um all the other pages have a base we're going to pretend like this is the base is what i'm saying so we won't um we won't ink the uh, cream colored on that one and we're not going to ink the cream on any of them actually so now we're going to glue our base together and by base I mean the paper that goes on the page so we're going to glue that together and I wrote paper on here so I didn't forget even though this is paper <laughs> put the paper on the paper I have it written on the back of the cream colored one too because we're going to have a magnet back there 
you'll notice that I have notes written on all the pieces of paper. The reason for that is that I actually do not have all of this written down. I know. What is happening in this world? Let's put a little bit more glue on. It doesn't quite seem like enough to me. Okay. Now watch, it'll gush out everywhere. So this, um, to me, looks like this should be pointing up and this should be down. Oh, maybe. Hmm. Maybe that should be up. That just looks backwards to me, so I'm going to do it this way. You can decide which way you like it better. And if you hear anything, it's my stomach because I'm starving. So I figured that would give me incentive to teach you how to do this one fairly quickly. <laughs> While I'm starving to death. That is not really even, is it? Yeah, that's in a corner I wasn't sure about. That's why it wasn't sliding very well. So that's our paper. Okay. Now we're going to have to cut these papers as we go. Um, and I'll tell you why. Um, <laughs> the paper clip stuck to the magnet. So see how that goes with that? It's the same pattern. Um, so I'm not sure. And I'd like to have a charm because there's quite a few charms on uh, Mr. Black already. Okay. I have to put this where we don't forget. Okay, so we have different papers. This is going to be the side tuck paper. We've already got our writing card. which looks like it doesn't really go together. However, um, you know, I'm almost thinking that I should put you on pause and recut the paper so the cream doesn't overlap the cream. No, actually, I think I do. The papers are small enough. Okay, we're going to move on. So we're going to put this on first, the side flap because we need to score one quarter inch and then fold it under. That will give us just enough room because this uh, card is a little bit thick and we don't want to just put a straight flat pocket by just gluing all three sides down. Um, I don't have enough room because of the width of the paper and the size of the paper I need to use to go into Mr. Black. He's a little, he's a little chubby, he's a little large. Um, his pages are eight by eleven and a quarter, so eight and a half by eleven is uh, the size of the paper before we trim it. So after we trim it, then we're going to have some troubles if we um, if we don't adjust my mic here. And then I tried to adjust it and then it fell off completely, just so you know. Okay. So we've got our scoreboard. Move our Timmy ruler out of the way. Get my stool situated here so I'm sitting close enough. So on here we're going to score just a quarter of an inch, not a half an inch. So this is five and a quarter, so we're going to score it at five. And that gives us just a little bit of room. 
when we glue it down to um, to have a little bit of breathing room for that uh, writing card to go in and out. These are a little harder to fold. Try to fold a 3 eighths and see how much fun you have. <laughs> you have a tiny little gusset. Okay, so this is ready. We're going to put it on the side of the page, just like this. Okay, we're going to put it on. We're going to glue this part down. We're going to line it up with the cream. Okay. So let's put some glue on this guy. We're not inking up the cream papers. Except on the writing card. We inked the outside. And so I got the ink out because they said the word ink. Silly me. We need the glue. Not the magnets, the glue. I haven't had a day today. Um, I've changed the design of this page. And this happens to be the third time I've tried to film it. So I've had an adventure some day. I've got one page done, but um, it's not going to work. I think I've got it setting right over to the side. I may show it to you. So I've got that page hanging out for something else. So let's just line this right up with the edge. Oops. I was listening to the Beatles right before I started to film this. What in the world is going on? And um, that song, Maxwell's Silver Hammer, Maxwell's Silver Hammer, is stuck in my head. Okay, now let's open it. Let's make sure it's stuck down. Now, you can glue all three sides first. But um, I like to make sure that this part is down. And then we'll glue the other two sides and flip them over. Now remember, you only need to glue them down to where the score line is. And of course, Oz is going to bark. We all know Oz, my dog. He's very cute. Maybe sometime I'll show you a picture of him. Maybe I'll do it today. Okay. We're going to glue the sides of this pocket up. Which is really going to go this way. Now, this is different than Miss Paint-a-Lot's in such that I'm making a side tuck and she made her pocket go this way. Uh, which was a long one that way. Okay, so it's basically the same construction. Um, she did a half an inch and, and did the half an inch all the way around. And um, since the magnet holds the card in, that worked out okay for her. I think we only need the um, quarter inch to easily slide the card in and out. So I opted to not have the extra um, uh, gap so they didn't want it to fall out once you open the, the piece okay so we can't cover this yet we need our other piece which is the flip now we need to score this at one half on the long end okay
This is why we couldn't paper them first. We have to glue them together. So we're going to score this at one half. And it's also, this is five and three quarters, so one half would be five and a quarter. Try to be careful. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> and uh, you don't want to uh, tear this end. And to make it easier, uh, most people score with their um, bone folder tipped it, tip, tipped it. <laughs> with my, with your bone folder tipped up. But once you get down here, lay it down flatter, and then you won't uh, tear your paper. Okay, so our flap is going to fold this way. It doesn't really matter um, because we're just going to put it on the way we put it, you know, the direction we put it on. Now, it actually does matter because we are going to attach it this way. because um, yeah because we need to attach a magnet the reason we're doing it to the top and not the bottom is because I've decided to leave the back cream colored for a writing space maybe a stencil or something on it um, you never know Okay, so this is our flip. We scored it at one half. We're going to put a magnet on it, and we are going to. Um, oh, we may put the tab on before the paper so that it covers it, but we don't want to put the tab on here. We want to put the tab on the writing card, which we already forgot to um, put it on before we glued the paper on. So we'll have to see how it looks before we decide. Okay, so we can put this away. We're actually done with our scoreboard. I like to give you guys links to the tools that I use the most because people um, ask me, uh, where did you get the scoreboard or where did you get the paper cutter? Or where did you get this and that? So if I put links to them below the video, then it's easy for you to just go see where I got it and make your own, make up your own mind um, if you want to get it uh, where I got it or not. They are little commission links, but it doesn't make a, a change on your price. And it doesn't, um, let's see, if I'm going to do it that way. Then I do want to flip it this way because I want the writing on the inside. So we're going to glue it. We're going to glue the tab flat on here and we're going to center it. She says confidently. <laughs> All right. When we glue it down, we're going to make sure that we glue it right at the fold and not past. Okay. Let's just put some glue on here. the reason that we can't oh you know what I want to do I want to angle these corners in so they don't really show when I um, paper it and you'll see in just a minute was there glue on there yeah there was a little bit Anyway, I've got that song stuck in my head still. Even now I'm talking to you and I'm thinking Maxwell's silver hammer came down upon his head. If you don't know that Beatles song, you should listen to it. It's pretty funny. Okay, so now we're just going to glue this on like this. Let's see if we can center it. Up 
just a little bit. Turn it. Okay, now let's flip it right away. Make sure it's all lined up. Flap is too long, so I'm going to need to, um, well, it doesn't matter because it's going to be this way, and when you open it, it doesn't really matter how long it is. It doesn't need to be shorter, and it's the length that I want it to be to put the magnet on it to be long enough to hold the card. So when the card is in here, I need to be careful with the glue. Let's double check on this side so that we don't glue the flap shut while we're working. Okay, so we'll put the card in. And be careful with the glue still wet, but I just want to show you. And then this will hold it in. Okay. Okay, so we'll need to know to put our magnet. We're going to push the card in about this far. So to hold it in, we're going to need to put the magnet here. If we put it here, yeah, let's put it here. that shows me how far in. I'm not really sure if that's the middle or not. Yeah, it looks like the middle. Close enough for government work. Get out one magnet. Well, let's go ahead and get out two. <laughs> Magnetic fingers. I have a magnetic personality, that's what it is. <laughs> Alright, you guys should not have laughed at that. I'm just saying. <laughs> so it's not very nice. Okay, now I use tape because it's easy. Just tape it down. Some people use double-sided tape um, and put it underneath. And then um, when you put the paper on, it helps with the extra glue. But this does not move, and um, I find that it works just fine. Okay, so now we're just going to flip this over. And we're going to put the matching magnet on the back, right about there. <laughs> just because that's where it wants to live. And we want it to be a happy magnet. And we want it to live wherever it wants to live. Okay, so we're going to tape that down. Now when we glue this to the uh, page, then it will hold it open like this, and that will hold the card in. And then we can just open it. And then we'll be able to take our writing card out. All right? This is also going to be a writing space. So now we can cut our two papers that we need. And I've decided that this is the flip up paper. Okay, hold on just one second. Okay, can only record 30 minutes at a time, so I had to start a new video. So this is going to be our paper for here. So we have to remember to ink this once we cut it. Let's move it over a little bit. 
and it's already the height that it needs to be because it's as tall as it's going to get. It's reached its full growth potential. <laughs> Not going to get any taller. Helps if the lead is actually sticking out. Let's take this off. And the smaller scraps, just so you know, I am making a giant collage when we get done. And, um, oh, there it is. I don't know why I'm putting this in. We're getting ready to glue it, but it's a good habit to get into. So let's move this out of the way. There is going to be lace on here, I promise, at some point, <laughs> only because it's the prompt. Okay, now we're going to want to make sure that we put it on right side up. Look at that, I got all the flowers on there. The lace is actually going to go over here, and that way it won't cover up the flowers. And it says flower right there. I think that's beautiful. Okay. So we're going to ink it up. Relaxing sounds of inking. Moment of silence for the inking. <laughs> I have to admit, I do like the sound of the inking of the corners. I think I probably tell you that in every video. So if you've watched all 200 of my videos, yes, 200, then you will know that already. You'll say, Terry, I know that already. Okay. We're going to want to line this up with this. Okay. I'm still hungry, in case you're wondering. <laughs> when the timer went off for the 30 minutes, that's what I should have run and eaten something. But actually, I'm going to wait until it's time to feed the dog. So, I'll get food, he'll get food, everyone will be happy. Okay, now I want to move that back just a little bit. Everybody's lined up. Okay, that's pretty. Now for this side, I've decided to put this. Um, only because I wanted something that wasn't too much clash, you know what I mean, with this uh, flower paper. Now, I don't really like it now. I may have to put you on pause and pick another paper. I could use this, um, which is the other side of this, but if I was going to do that, I should have cut them the other way around. Let's see here. All right, let me uh, put you on pause and I'm gonna look around at the papers and see, because I really don't like that stripe even though it was going to be smaller, um, I think it detracts from there. And um, I'm going to have to look around and see what I want to use. Okay? All right. Be right back. Okay. 
So what what I did while we were gone, or while I was gone, I cut this piece of lace. I made my decision on what lace I want to use to fulfill our lace prompt. Then I've also found a piece of paper. Well, I've got everything paper clipped together. I found a piece of paper that I liked. This is from another kit. Um, let's see. It's another kit by the Journal Boat, and I forgot to write down the name of the kit. But if you look through the ones in her Etsy store, you will find the one that has this um, background. It's got a pink one in the same um, the same pattern, and then um, on the back side. I was going to leave it cream and then I thought, nah, that just doesn't look finished. So I cut this piece of paper out and this piece of paper is the identical one to this one in the kit. As you can see the roses, this one's in tan. Um, I liked it better in the rose. Well, no, I almost like it better in the tan. Okay rose. I think the rose to match the roses on the other side. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut this and inked it ahead of time. That's our writing area. I've cut and inked this ahead of time. This could also be a writing area except that I decided to put a large belly band that matches these flowers across here. It's going to go up just a little bit. And then I've made another writing card. I've already glued it together. And it's made from the other half of this page in pink. And you can see this is the other half. This is the half we used on the other side. In case you're wondering why I'm having such a great low voice is it's 3 a.m. <laughs> and so um, I've also got what is called a whale tail. So it looks like a whale's tail. Whale tail. Um, tab and I'm thinking I'm going to put it on here. It matches the blue, kind of ties it together, especially on the other side. Plus we have a, a place to put our charm. Okay, so that's what we're looking forward to doing. So let's move this out of the way. We'll put, oh, and we're also going to stencil on the back side of this. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to move the magnet, I'm going to move this paper out of the way. Okay, and we're just going to glue this one down. And this did take a little bit of prep time. I'm showing you guys this in about an hour and a half, I think is what it's going to work out to. Um, but, you know, it took me another probably a couple of hours just mainly because of decision making. Um, cutting the papers is not that difficult. Deciding what you want to put where is not, well it's not difficult, but it takes a little bit of time. You want to think about how they go together. You don't want it to clash too much. You don't want too many, especially with flowers. You don't want it to look like, you know, somebody threw up flowers on your page. I mean, if you like throwing up flowers, that's one thing, but if you know what I mean. Okay, so we're going to take this card, and now I think that I like the white part at the top. So we're going to glue this on. We have a gnat, not a knack, <laughs> which I, I think I kind of have a knack, but I also have a gnat. <laughs> that's flying around right on my hands and driving me crazy. It's nuts. Okay, so now we're going to glue our belly band on. And this is from another piece. Um, I think it's the other half of this piece, actually. This is a scrap from the page we used earlier. So I guess it isn't the other half of that page. We're going to glue just the top and the bottom to create what's called a belly band. And that just means a band of paper 
that goes across the page that holds something underneath it. Page, a card, a tag, you know, anything. So we're going to put this up just a little bit. And then I think, well, let's go up just a little bit more. And then let's make it straight. Let's just kind of move it around a little bit. Okay, so we've got that across the center. Which we could have used this for writing area, but I thought it looked too plain. Okay, so now to finish this area, let's go ahead and put the card on the back. This will be our writing area. Okay, so let's glue this on. Now remember when we glue our tab on, we want to leave enough room to um, put the charm on. Now the charm's not going to stick off the page, so I may have to put you on hold and pick a smaller one so that the page can close flatter instead of the charms uh, sticking off the edge. Um, with a normal tab, you probably would have put it on first but these are decorative, so um, I waited to put it on afterwards. Okay. Leave enough glue on the corners so that you can slide it around until you get it where you want it. That's what I do anyway. That's why you see me do those circles in the corner. Okay, so we've got that on. And I don't feel like we need to stencil here because it's already got this flower, so that's our writing area back here. Okay, the magnet's holding that shut, and our writing card's going to slide in. And we've got this second writing card. And we're going to take our vintage photo. See, I remembered not to say antique. And we're going to stencil it right on here. These are roses. We're not going to do it super dark. It's our writing card. And this stencil came with some holes in it to put it in a notebook. And what I did was I uh, covered them with masking tape so we didn't accidentally get anything on here. I also paper clipped it on so that it didn't move and I'm also holding it down. Okay. Yep. I think that's got it. Put them in the paper clip dispenser. So there we go. That's pretty. We'll put our stencil to the side. Okay, now we've got this writing card I did round the corners. When you round the corners on something like this, round the corners on this paper, then round the corners on this paper, and then that way it will line up. Don't, you, this one's smaller than this one on the inside, smaller on the inside. It goes around the inside and it's smaller, so you can't slide it up even and cut the corner and then move it over, and it just doesn't work. Okay, so we're going to take this writing card, we're going to slide it in this belly band. We might should wait for the glue to dry. And I'm going to put it in there so that the key shows. Okay, let's let that dry. We'll put this writing card over with the other writing card. Sorry, I'm just making sure that my papers, in case I need to refer to them, not notes. I did not write notes, just for you that are giggling and thinking I meant notes. Okay, now, the only other thing that we really need to do is to put this lace on. Now, I picked this lace because you could see through it. 
it wasn't too crazy oh we need to put the tab and the charm on um, and it has this hanging off I don't normally have things hang off my pages but you know what there's always the first time for everything so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a bead of glue up here and then I'm going to put a bead of glue up here, but I, what I'm going to do is lift this back so that I know where I'm putting the glue. Okay, so I'm going to put the glue from here. Let's see, does it go all the way to the top or does it just cover the... You know, I'm wondering, now that I think about it, should I just cover this? And I think I should. So let's move this down. Just a little bit. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut it off right where this little scallop is. And that will that will do me. For some reason, I don't cut lace very straight. Look at that. I think I do it too slow keep your little scraps. That's where we get our little clusters. Now it's too short. I'm wondering. Yeah, I can stretch it when we put the glue on. All right, so let's put some glue along here. Make sure we got the gunk off the end. If you put your glue upside down and then wait, there's a big air bubble that will come up. There it goes. Then your glue will be down here at the end are ready for you to go. It's that air bubble that you have to wait for that makes your life difficult. You don't need that much to hold lace but it is going to be hanging off the edge. Now I want it to run right along. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. Right along where the edge of these flowers are is what's going to hang off the edge. So I'm going to lay it down at the bottom where I want the flowers to hang off. And then I'm going to pull it straight up kind of touch it down as you go real lightly and then I'm going to pull it tight I may not even need the other glue in fact I'd rather not use it if I didn't have to flowers are all lined up right along the edge okay so now all we need to do is put the tab over here wonder if we should put it here so we can turn for turning the page in the book you know lifting it up and then our charm would hang off hmm or if we should put it here for turning the page. You know, like maybe down here where the magnet is. And then we would have the charm right here. Hmm. Let me put you on hold for just a second while I decide because I think I'm going to have to get a smaller charm. Okay, I've decided to put it here and I'll tell you why. First of all, um, I like the idea of the charm hanging off. Second of all, I realized if I put it here, then it's going to impede getting the card in and out because of the charm and everything. So we're going to put it over here. And now we're going to want to make these points right here, the top and the bottom. We want to make them even. Huh. 
we want to make them even with the top of the or the edge of the paper okay so to glue these together you want to open it up you want to glue all of one side and part of the other because it's going to stick together or I'm sorry this on the whale tail it's a little different you're going to want to glue the tail part and then glue all of it on the other side so that when you squeeze them together it gets glued together and to either side of the page okay so we're going to do this side I'm going to do all of it and that will hook the two tab parts together we're going to do this one here and then we're going to do this one here where it's going to be attached to the paper and I'm putting enough on here that I can kind of slide it around a little bit okay let's move this out of the way now the center I should have measured four and an eighth and four and an eighth and then there's our zero so this is where we're going to put it on okay and you remember you want to line the points up sorry line the points up here and then you want to make sure that you're all lined up on the back side which it doesn't really matter because you're not going to see it so as long as this is all matched up here you're good to go it matches this the pattern does go the other way which I think is silly but okay so now we have our tab and put our glue away let's get out the ring that we're going to need which I think because of the size of it I think yeah these all get smaller there's a great big giant one but I don't think we need that great big giant ring I think we can get by with this ring hmm maybe not let's try this one yeah I think we are better off with the bigger one okay so we'll close this up for right now so we've got our jump ring and our charm and now we have our eyelet looks like this when you turn it sideways you can see that it looks like that this is the part that's going to go through the page all right now we're going to move our scissors put it back where it belongs and our ruler back in its ruler house pencil i know i'm nuts but i guess you want to think about that because you might want to laugh but that's all right because when I get done working I can move like three or four things and my whole work area is cleaned off I'm just saying all right now on this when you push it down you'll notice some a punch comes through here so it's just like a hole punch this part right here we'll put the, the eyelid on and then we'll push it down and it will uh, punch it down once we move the setting up to here so let's go ahead you can also move this So let's see if that's where we want it. That's actually too far in. And it's a guide. It keeps you from going too far. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's measure our center. Just because this one's a little odd of a shape.
one, two, three. Well, that's not the center then, is it? Okay. One, two and a half, one, two and a half. That makes that our center. We are going to go in just a little bit farther because um, we don't want it too close to the edge. But I just wanted to know where the center was. Okay, and that made our hole. Now you're going to move this forward. And you're going to put your eyelet in here. Okay, then we're going to put this on this rounded part. And that attaches the eyelet, which is a very handy thing. Now we're going to take our gold Yep, we're going to take our gold. <laughs> I have the hardest time getting these little plastic bags open. You would think I'd never done it before. Looks like they're all tangled up into a big ball. Let's see if I can get this one out. I need to separate these all out, don't I? There we go. Looks like a winner to me. Okay, so then we want to, you'll notice this is this way and not pulled apart this way. That's because when we pinch it shut, we want this to line up with that. Okay, we want our charm to face forward. So we're going to put this on this way. Then we're going to run it through from the bottom up. Yep, we did need the bigger one. Okay. Well, let's see. Actually, I think we have our charm backwards. Yep. These were all leaves. It's not a pine uh, palm tree. Okay, now while you're holding it, you're going to take your pliers and you're just going to squeeze it together until the ends meet. The problem with this one is it doesn't look like it's going to meet up end to end. So I'm going to pull it this way just a little bit. Hold it with the tweezers. Tweezers are not cutting it. Okay. Well, we want it to meet end to end. Um. There we go. Ta-da! <laughs> Did you hear it pop? Okay. All we got to do is put the page on the paper, or the paper on the page, and we will be done. We have one minute left. <laughs> That's not going to work. All right. Hold on just one second. Okay. So now all we have to do is put our page, oh that's going to be nice, except I didn't trim this. I did this once before, and I am going to hold this here and show you that this is the page. I'm very upset now. Can't believe I forgot. I've been having a time. This is a lot of work, so I'm going to have to figure something out. 
So if I have to trim it too far, then our card won't fit. So then we'll tr pull this back and put this card in here. Then that will be our page. Okay. Um, so this is going to, the lace is going to come off a little bit on this side and the charm's going to hang off on that side and then um, everything will be copacetic except I am very upset that we need to take a quarter of an inch off. So I'll take care of that and um, what I did was I added the extra page to build on and I didn't trim that page down, hence all of this is too big. So this is what it's going to look like. The charm will hang off the side and then the lace will hang off on this side. Okay, so that is page seven, oh, page six and the uh, prompt is lace and um, I'm going to turn the video off now and go cry somewhere. <laughs> I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video and that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Bye bye.